What's going on, Little Dap? It's Jared Monts, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, we're learning additional pointers for how to shoot with power. This video is a part two to my Online Soccer Academy training video titled, How to Kick a Soccer Ball, How to Shoot a Soccer Ball with Power. Watch that for the basic and advanced key points to shooting. This video will be addressing the commonly asked questions in regard to shooting that my other video doesn't answer. Question one, my technique is off. When your technique is off, remove the ball from the equation and practice just your technique without the ball. Take a step and hold it on your plant foot, showing your ankle locked, toe down. Then swing your leg and hold it where the ball would be showing proper technique. For the third step, swing through and land on your kicking foot. Continue this five or ten times or until you feel confident with your technique. Question number two. I can't keep my ankle locked. Stand on your plant foot with your dominant foot and point your toe down, pushing your ankle back to lock it. You should feel the muscles on the top of your ankle feel stretched out a bit. Take a few swings holding this pose, then repeat five sets. Question number three. The ball is not getting much power and it's bouncing off the ground after my shot. This means you're hitting the top of the ball, not through the middle of it. So your backswing is too high and you're coming down on top of the ball, forcing most of your power into the ground. You want a good backswing, but not too high, so when you strike, you'll hit the middle of the ball. Not this. You want to look like this. Question four. I'm hitting the ball with my laces, but it still goes over the goal. This means you're making contact with your ankle locked toe down, but as you hit the ball, your toe comes up immediately. Keep that toe down as long as you can on your follow through, until you land on it. Imagine my hand is your foot. My fingers are your toes. Make contact with the ball and don't flick up too early and then land on it. Hold it as long as you can on the follow through until you come down. For the exercise we can do to practice, you're gonna need as many balls as you have and a goal. If you don't have a goal, use a wall or a fence. Set up all the balls you have about five to 10 yards away from the goal. Then one at a time practice using good techniques, striking them in the net. This is not fitness, it's technique work, so take your time. We are not aiming for the corners or shooting from distance, this is just technique work. If any of your problems were those questions I addressed, then make sure you do those exercises first before you get the ball out. Be sure and watch my other shooting for power video for regular tips. Remember, this video is in addition to that one to address commonly asked questions that the other video doesn't answer. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, favorite, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and create your profile for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Players all over the world use it, and you can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know if this video worked for you. My name is Jared Munts, and until next time, remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!